Hi, I didn't even see you walk in. You don't look familiar, and you look really tired. Are you okay? Hmm. Maybe, maybe take off your jacket, hang it up, sit down, and let me get you a drink. What can I get you? Hmm, it's been a while since I've made one of those. You must be from really far away. What brings you here? Oh, the sunflowers. We are known for our sunflowers. Miss Maggie down the road just opened a new shop. As if we needed another one, but her shop is really, really delightful. So on your way out, if you have someone special back home, I really do suggest picking up, I don't know, at least a bundle. Because even if you only give her a few of them, you can still share all the others. Just a suggestion. Our sunflowers last a really long time. They would definitely still be nice and yellow and happy by the time you got home. Oh. No one special at home? Hmm. Well, let me make that drink for you, all right? Just sit tight. Sit tight. All right, order up. And you look really hungry. I know that the distance that you traveled was great. So I brought a complimentary bowl of stew. My treat. No, 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 I insist. You look hungry. That was such a far journey. I can't even imagine the adventures that you've been on just to get here. Just for sunflowers. Magical. Absolutely magical. But, but I get it. We have the best. I'm flattered to be able to give you this bowl of stew. Mm-hmm. You know, it's pretty quiet in here. I might grab a bowl myself. I haven't had lunch yet. I'd be delighted to sit with you. Did you travel alone? I imagine that'd be really lonely. Oh, okay, okay. Ah, makes sense. At least you had some company. Carrots I just picked out of the ground last week. Same with the potatoes. I grew them myself in the garden in the back of the tavern. It's small. You probably didn't see it on your way in, but it grows lots of good crop for the special dishes that we serve here. Mm. I make them all from scratch. Oh, it's that I enjoy so much. I've been in this tavern since I was a little kitten. Running around, all over, bouncing off the walls. Scratching the bar. Yeah. Running across the bar stools. Hopping over them one by one. Looking for any adventure I could. Mm. It was a good time. Good memory. Please, please, enjoy your food. I don't mean to interrupt. Oh, a headache. Hmm. I have some mushrooms in the back that might be of assistance there. I always chew on one every time I get a headache. And every time, my headache goes away. Would you be interested in trying one? I found them in the forest. Another thing that I've been doing since I was little, running through the forest. Let me go grab you one. One second. Here you go. Just pop it in, chew on it for a while, and if you don't like the flavor, you can spit it out, but I like to think that it helps even more if you swallow it. Mushrooms aren't my favorite either, but 
promise it'll get rid of that headache. You know what? Come here, come here, come here. I'll give you a head massage. Mm-hmm. Oh, it's no trouble at all if you're comfortable. No, it will really help. I can rub your temples, and before you know it, the mushroom will kick in and you'll feel better. Mm-hmm. Alright, just, just sit still. You have such long hair. Such long hair. It's really soft too. Mm-hmm. For being out in the woods so long, it's actually pretty clean. You got to be in the waterfall. used to do it for me every time I would get a migraine and it always helped every time it always helped get you some tea. I just made it fresh about an hour ago. It's still hot. It adds peppermint. Peppermint could help your headache too. And it will wash that nasty mushroom taste out of your mouth. Do you want some honey? Perfect. Just make sure you blow on it, okay? It's still pretty hot. Yeah, the peppermint's from my garden, too. You have to be careful with peppermint, you know? If you don't put it in a pot, it will run rampant all over the grass. It'll take root in every square inch and absolutely demolish anything else that's in its way. I kind of admire that about peppermint. But I don't admire it for the rest of my crops. Especially if I want to run a good tavern. We make at least five or six dishes, but for a small town, that's not too bad. I'm able to use a lot of carrots and potatoes for different soups and and different stews. And of course, in the spring, we have peaches and apples and various citrus fruits, but my favorite's got to be apple.
The apples are so sweet here. So sweet. It's too bad you can't make pie out of sunflowers. We've definitely got an abundance of those, but... Oh, the sunflowers. They say you can put it in your tea, and that it's good for your bones. I don't know if there's any fact to that. That's just what the local doctor said. But I do know it's fact that peppermint tea helps headaches. So I think you're in luck. It's like I knew you were coming. Do you have anywhere to stay tonight? You traveled so far, I'd hate for you to have to sleep in the woods again. Well, you may not mind it, but I think you'd find it rather refreshing to have a room and a bath. Well, down the road, past the flower shop, there's a really lovely, lovely set of twins that runs a beautiful hotel. They're rather experienced at taking care of their guests. But I do have a cheaper room upstairs, and it's empty, if you're interested. Just across the hall from mine. Don't worry. I'm not gonna make you sleep in my bed or on my couch. Or worse, the floor. It's private, and there's a bath. I know that you've been utilizing the spring waters for your bathing, but maybe a nice hot bath would do your headache some good, too. I figured the hot bath would catch your attention after long, long travel. That's got to be really nice. Really nice to just take a nice hot bubble bath. I can draw the bath for you if you'd like. You just enjoy your stew. I'll get the bath ready. No, <laughs> stop. It's no trouble. I told you, no one's here. It's kind of a slow day. I was actually surprised to see you. But it's no trouble. No trouble at all. Enjoy your stew. Here's the key to your room. You can stay as long as you'd like. I'll go draw the bath. 